Thought everybody would like to see the compressor I built for uh, uh, sandblasting tractors or whatnot. Uh, the pump itself comes from Eaton Compressor. It's Eaton, Ohio. Um, it's made right here in the United States. Um, it has the continual run feature, meaning there's a governor that uh, kicks the pump out at 120 pounds. That's what I have it set for. The pump itself can go up to 175. Um, the tank is a 120 gallon propane pig. Uh, my uncle had that out back. Um, works good for an air tank. Propane pigs are uh, pressure tested to about 250 pounds, so lots of reserve there. I got a 100 foot hose reel. Um, then I built an air manifold um, in case you wanted to uh, run like a couple of air nailers or something like that. You could always bring a couple extra hoses and plug into it. Uh, the 100 foot hose reel. Um, I figured that was good so the tractor and the compressor um, can stay out of the sand if you're sandblasting. It is run by a farm tractor, um, PTO driven. Um, I had to do some step up and then step down with the pulleys. Um, I geared it up with the uh, number 50 roller train and sprocket. Um, I had to gear it back down. Uh, the compressor has to spin at about 800 RPM. So in order to get it so the tractor wasn't sitting there wide open and to save money on a large cast pulley, I went ahead and geared it up with roller chain and then I geared it back down with pulley. On top of the tank, you can see the air governor. It's just a standard D2 governor found on uh, most semi-trucks. Um, that's what controls the compressor. It's got a signal line coming from the tank and then it's got a copper tube that goes to the unloaders and the compressor, which are in the cylinder heads of the compressor. Um, I'm going to start it up and let it run for just a few minutes. It's about 10 degrees out here tonight, so I don't want to let it run too long. But um, I'll go ahead and start it up and let it run for a couple seconds so you guys see how it works.